everyone. Uh, we are presenting here our uh, hyper racing uh, program, which is uh, advertised the fastest configurable real time signal processor for various sensor applications, which can provide uh, a real time performance uh, by what we mean is uh, extremely low latency and practically infinite throughput since we can parallelize the process. Here we demonstrate it on a radar uh, sensor which is behind the curtain uh, that is de detecting this uh, dice, spinning dice uh, real time. So on the right hand side we are showing range versus velocity of the dice, whereas on the left hand side we are showing uh, range versus azimuth angle and you will be able to see when I spin the dice how uh, distance and velocity change and simultaneously angles and the distance as well. So if we spin the dice, the dice in the other side, we are observing the simultaneous velocity increase when we are uh, heading towards the sensor and velocity, negative velocity, so uh, the increase in velocity when we are moving back. These are sorry, the actually outcomes of two-dimensional FT processing on the raw radar data that we are obtaining from uh, the radio frequency processors. Uh, you can also see that uh, when we are trying uh, to move the reflector, uh, we see the reflector appearing behind this moving. So this uh, system, a real-time system, is extremely important in automotive applications where uh, timely detection of obstacles is mandatory. Uh, we can uh, achieve the, the distance measurement in a single chip, which is, uh, let's say, 100 microsecond delay from, from where it occurs. Uh, and uh, the velocity measurement can be done in several uh, milliseconds, the duration of the frame. Here, in this particular example, we are having 12 millisecond uh, frame. Uh, there is no reason to have it more because the refresh rate of the screen is 60 hertz. So this is what we are obtaining. And uh, the timely uh, obstacle detection in autonomous driving is mandatory since it uh, really means the difference between uh, comfortable braking and uncomfortable braking or maybe even an accident.